Even water that isn't fully filtered can be further recycled by running it through the oxygen garden. A beautiful space within the ship loaded with a range of plants, ferns and vegetation distributed through a network of aeration devices, grow chambers and hydroponic vats. All designed to maximise the production of oxygen in an unmechanical and natural way. The O2 productivity is good. In fact, if anything, we're overproducing. It will tail off dramatically when we get nearer. But in truth, we already have the oxygen reserves to make it there and a quarter way back. What's more, the oxygen garden is also home to a number of edible plants, which can be harvested and cleaned within the garden itself, before being handed over to the ship's galley, where the fresh vegetables can then supplement the otherwise plain and freeze-drying supplies held on board. With a little expertise and a lot of hard work, the Icarus can sustain its crew healthily for the duration of the mission, and potentially beyond it. Even without human influence, the oxygen garden itself is capable of incredible wild growth, suggesting that with the right conditions, the atmosphere within the Icarus could last forever. Of course, with a crew as diverse and multicultural as is found on board the Icarus project, the food on the menu isn't necessarily going to please everyone. Chicken. If you don't like it, you take my shift next time. See the full video on Patreon.